Hi, this is an Art Geek production, and I'm Ron Shire, and I'm speaking with Ed Terrell, who is the director of the ACOR uh, Gallery in the Goggle Works. Now, ACOR stands for the African Coalition of Reading, and uh, represents a lot of African American artists. And uh, hi, Ed. How are you today? I'm fine, Ron. I'm glad to be speaking with you about this art exhibit. This is sure. The first annual art exhibit that we've had. ACOR is a nonprofit organization. What we do is we promote the arts in the African and Latino American community. Uh, we've been together for six years, and this is our first annual art exhibit, uh -huh. which was quite successful. We had uh, we sent out flyers, and participants uh, participated. Uh, this the exhibit is going from November the 1st until December the 31st. It'll be showing at the Goggle Works 201 Washington Street in room 240 on the second floor. Our gallery is um, open to all um, people in the community. It's just that we focus on the art and culture uh -huh. of our particular culture. Uh -huh. uh, with this exhibit, I'm saying uh, we had three uh, winners. We have first place, second place, third place winners. Uh, the first prize was $500, the second prize was uh, $300, and the third prize was uh, $100. And uh, we have a winner's circle here. Okay. This is our winner's circle. Uh, the first prize winner is from an artist named Aladdin Vargas. He's Hispanic. He's from, Port uh, he's from uh, Puerto Rico. Uh, this is his work. It's, uh, it's on canvas. It's uh, oil on canvas. Mm -hmm. And uh, he won the first place. He took uh, the $500. Mm -hmm. and, uh, yeah, it looks to be about 24 by 30 inches or so. Yes, it is. Yeah. No. Yes, it is. And uh, to the far uh, left, we have Marlene Book. It's also oil on canvas. And uh, she took uh, second place. Third place winner is an up and coming young artist named George Miller. He's a graphic design. I've been uh, working with him on some various other projects here in the community. And mm -hmm. uh, he took third place with his uh, mm -hmm. painting of Tree of Life. Mm -hmm. Sandy Turner has been in the community painting for some years now. And uh, this is a portrait of Sir Duke. Mm -hmm. it's, it's watercolor and uh, it's ha <coughs> it has an effect. There's a story behind this. Mm -hmm. That uh, he had a uh, a blind uh, art a, a blind student because he's an art teacher, Sandy. Mm -hmm. He had a blind student that inspired him to do this. So you can get closer. You see some braille type of uh, interpretations on here. The little bubbly dots. That's supposed to be braille. He said. Yeah, I see that. Yeah, and this is another one of Sandy's. It's called mm -hmm. Love of Music. It's, uh, he said he saw this gentleman playing music. Uh, yeah. Yeah, well, this gentleman was playing music in, in the, the subway, the, the underground, the metro of New York City, and he uh, captured that uh, portrait of him. Uh -huh. This is Rufus Harley. Rufus Harley played the bag, bagpipes. He played jazz. Uh, he has passed away. This is um, pastel. Mm -hmm. This is pastel paint. And um, let me get a get a picture of it where there's no glare on it. Yeah. Yeah. That's very interesting. And then this other one is called Conga. It's by uh, Sandy Turner. Also, it's also pastel. Uh -huh. It's 23 by 28. And in the far corner, we have uh, George um, Miller once again with this called Gangster Party. Yeah, this is this is pretty funky. I like That's that. oil on uh, some type of board. Yeah. Acrylic. It's acrylic on board. I'm sorry. Yeah, that's pretty fresh. I like that. And this is one of far right. This is one of my pictures. I just only entered one because I didn't um, really want to be too biased in the contest. <laughs> I didn't want it to be a biased contest. So. <laughs> well, it's your gallery. You, you can do what you want. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's a form of uh, stipple or pointillism of Billie mm -hmm. Holiday. Mm -hmm. Black and white. It's uh, acrylic and pen and ink. Uh huh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now you have like, what are the, is this like uh, children's art over here? This is children's art, and we host the Reading School District uh, art, uh, the, the schools. We host the Reading School District schools elementary mm -hmm. from September to June 
each month I will have two different schools in here. The exhibit that you're looking at now is Lars Park Elementary School. The art teacher is Miss Erica Evans. Mm -hmm. And what we what we do is if the kids they submit eight by eleven pieces of uh, work on paper. I um, our organization we frame these for them and we give them a reception along with the adult reception on the second Sunday at the Gaga Works. Mm -hmm. uh, we give them first, second, and third place ribbons, as you see. And at the end of the show, I return this back to the art teachers, and they, they can keep the frames. Cool. That's awesome. Yeah. So it, it's a way of uh, building up the self-esteem of some of our up-and-coming young artists. Mm -hmm. And uh, over here we have the glint. Well, wait, wait, wait. But you have two pieces here. These are these are two of your pieces. Is it? That's right, isn't it? Yes. This yeah. Is, this is a, these are two pieces of art that I have made and has been a part of my uh, collection of art with the uh, Berks Arts Council. Mm -hmm. I won first place with one of the, the first annual Frankie Scott Jazz Award. These two pieces uh, uh, took, took first place. Mm -hmm. I have always enjoyed how you, in, how you uh, place those, um, you inset those masks into the, into the actual uh, surface of the canvas. Yeah, oh, the the pieces. Pieces. It's called Afterbirth. Birth. It's mm -hmm. also oil on canvas. Mm -hmm. And this is what my favorite it's Very piece tender. Here. This artist is, is Raylene Divine. It's called Children Without Faces. And it's three-dimensional, abstract, it's, it's political, there's a story to it, there's mm -hmm. deep. We had a guest artist, as you mm -hmm. see here, Mother with Child. This artist is Al Alberta Baldwell Baldman. She has come all the way from uh, Coatesville to participate in this show. Okay. All right. So we've we've pretty much encircled the whole gallery here. Yeah. And these pieces up down here are these part of that show as well too. This is a guest artist wall with uh, Nathaniel Davis. We have another mm -hmm. guest artist wall also. I'd like to show you. Uh -huh. That uh, we host artists free of charge. This, this show that you're seeing one is month. one of our uh, prominent guest artists. He's going to be here from November the 1st till December the 30th. His name is John Vincent Halstead. This is the collection of his work. He does this as a hobby. He does not really sell too much of his work. But at this exhibit, I'm hoping to to sell a lot of his work because uh, he wa I want him to be real known in the community. This is a technique that he has. Um, put together of uh, some type of lacquer and this abstract and most of the pieces I think the pieces are 12 by 12. Mm -hmm. yeah, it looks like he's he's painted on this and then covered in some sort of acrylic resin or something. Yeah, heavy heavy duty acrylic or resin. Yeah. Wow, these are pretty these are really strong in the camera they're beautiful looking. Yeah. And yeah. Well, these are going to come out really nicely, I'm sure. That's really strong. I like that. I was, uh, when I first met with John, I, I was thinking of just putting 12 of them up, but I came with the 12 and I put them up, and it just looked so empty, so I went back to him and got more. And mm -hmm. I wanted to make an effect of tiles or, or some type of mosaic. And it, it, this exhibit uh, really came out really very, very nice, the way it's uh, displayed. Mm -hmm. And yeah. the name of his show is called Behind My Eyes by John Vincent uh, Halstead. Wow. Get a nice expanse of this. Get the whole image in there. <laughs> I think that. we have have enough footage here. Appreciate this, Ed. Yeah. Uh, so let me let me thank you here personally for for allowing me to come by here and take up your time and bug you about this. Uh, this is great. I'm I'm glad we finally got up here. Thank so you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Bye.